What's up, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Beardy Tour. And as always, I'm your host, Miko Brambilla. Today, we're in Seattle. Now, typically, you come down here for a nice hot cup of coffee. But when I come down here to Seattle, I'm always looking for a nice cold IPA. So let's go find one. You guys are going to join me on my beer adventure today. Let's do this. Seattle at Pike's Place, uh, just going down the gum wall, and I'm about to go check out a brewery that's supposedly pretty close to here. Uh, so you guys are going to come with me. Let's go. We're at the gum wall alley, and yes, it is as disgusting as it looks. But we're headed to a brewery close by, uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Let's go check it out. All right, so I found uh, the Pike Brewing Company here in the alley, but it looks close, so we're going to try to find something else. It's pretty cool, but I think we came on a day that it's closed. It's actually open. They open at 11. We just got here, so we're going to go check it out. So I made it to the Pike Brewery in Seattle. Check it out. Looks pretty cool. Uh, let's go check it out. Apparently they have over 50 different Washington beers. Uh, I'm gonna try to figure out how much I can try before I take off.
Seattle. And I just went ahead and grabbed a Pike Space Needle. Now this one is a golden IPA. It's dry hop, it's floral. It does have an ABV or alcohol by volume of 6.5%. And the IBU score, which means the bitterness of the beer is at a 58. So it's bitter, it's hoppy, it's floral, it's juicy. Check it out. Now that looks pretty sunset golden to me. Let's give it that taste test. Cheers everybody. you guys know that I appreciate you guys following me on my little beer adventures this time around we we're in downtown Seattle I actually had to go to Seattle uh, for something of a family thing I had to drop off my daughter at the airport so I was um, not even planning to go to Seattle really or not even check out the breweries I was just planning to get there and come back and then we made ourselves down to Pike's Place I started searching around and then randomly I was like you know what 
I wonder if they have some breweries around here. Pretty close. Like I said, it wasn't something that I was planning. Um, so I didn't really get to go to the breweries that I wanted to. I literally just searched breweries near me and I found the closest ones. And that's where uh, my adventure started. And quite funny enough, I was at the gum wall. If you're familiar with the Seattle have Pike's place and they have the old Starbucks or the oldest Starbucks there. And then you kind of go down this little uh, weird alleyway where it's the gum wall and there's a lot of tourists there and then as you make yourself down that same alleyway all of a sudden I was actually searching breweries near me and I found Pike's Place Pub uh, or Pike's Place Brewing big old sign right next to me I wasn't even paying attention I was like looking here what's brewing near me oh like literally right in front of me I thought it was closed because it's pretty early it was around midday and they opened which was really nice because I actually got there um as i was opening so it wasn't packed there was a little bit of people in there but it was so crazy just to kind of wrap things up i know you guys saw the video it was really really cool everything was packed with beer signage beer related uh, everything was beer themed local stuff imported stuff and it was really cool how they made little sections uh, where you would sit at that uh, were totally different. So one section was like old school, old theme, German style seating. And then another was more of a retro style seating. And then they had like four or five of these different layouts uh, that were around the same theme, all beer related, but different sort of um, time frames. I'm assuming. I'm not sure, but it was really cool. Like everywhere you looked, there was some piece of signage, some photo, some uh, logo design, some slogan, something. So everything was a talking point. Like, that was probably one of my favorite ones. That probably is my favorite one that I visited just because if you go there, especially with friends, you're going to have something to talk about. Like literally, I found myself just walking around, looking at everything. So it was really cool. That's probably my favorite one out of the bunch. And it wasn't packed. It seemed almost hidden because it was like you'd literally go down the alleyway, look to your left. There it is. It's pretty big. Um, but the way it's situated, like you just feel like a little bit cozy. Like I said, they have different parts in there it's kind of hard to explain uh but they everything just seems to fit together and overall it's really cool like it's a cool brewery they have so much stuff there you're gonna find yourself talking about something looking at something they were really cool and the beer was really nice now the second place that we went to was a seattle beer company now this one was a little bit smaller um, the people there were really nice it wasn't too packed it was sort of intermediate it didn't have anything really bang for your buck but if you're thirsty and you just want to catch a drink you don't like the frills of being like a family restaurant but you don't want something that's a hole in the wall you want something that's nice and they have a nice setup that's probably seattle beer company unlike pike's place that has all the signage and the neon and all the different things that uh, you might be too enthralled with if you just want to catch a nice beer that's probably where you're going to want to head. And it wasn't busy at all. Uh, we went, it was a Wednesday, which you wouldn't think is business, but busy, but hold on. Uh, like I said, the Seattle Beer Company is small. Um, it's situated where you can kind of flow in and out really, really easy. There's an upstairs, there's a downstairs. It's very private, uh, but it's nice. Like I said, you get a nice casual crowd there. The last place that we went to, which I kind of regret, was Old Stove Brewing. Now, if you're probably from Seattle, you're probably saying, I know what you're talking about. This place seemed like a good idea at the time and it had rave reviews because it's on the marina it's right on the sort of uh beachfront or, or ocean side you can see it right so that's probably prime real estate right there you get all the tourism literally like we went in there and it was packed again this was a wednesday guys it was packed we had to wait for a sea but it was just so crazy how this was midweek and it was so packed very touristy place if you're looking somewhere where you want to catch a quick beer probably not the place to go but if you want somewhere you're gonna go and have a good time with family and friends it's good for everybody not just the beer connoisseurs but the whole family this is probably where you're gonna want to go very upscale theme uh no really dark or any dark lights or dark lighting in there everything's bright everything is uh, fresh and everything seems really really clean very crisp very high um, toity toity status, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, but <laughs> I think the one I enjoyed the most, I guess it was Pike Place. It reminded me more of the breweries that we have over here in the Yakima Valley. And Seattle Beer Company was pretty small as well. But it's not something that I was uh, really seeking, to be honest with you guys. Um, it just was like, what the three closest breweries near me. So I didn't really get into time uh, to enjoy myself or really go somewhere where I wanted to go. I've been wanting to check out a couple breweries in Seattle, but that's going to be for another video. And hopefully you guys will come along with me as well for that. 
But this time around, it was cool. It was nice. Um, enjoyed all three places. Like I said, if you're family oriented and you want a nice place out in the marina, nice view, nice food, go to Old Stove Brewing. It is going to be packed, but it is worth it. It was really nice. And then if you want a quiet little place, it's also a little upscale. Seattle Beer Company is right up your alley. If you're like me and you like the atmosphere and you like seeing all this vintage stuff, all this signage, all the cool stuff, and just want to walk around and look around uh, for beer related stuff, then of course, Pike Brewing Company is going to be for you. Had a blast on this just random beer adventure, but thank you guys for joining me. As always, you want to make sure you hit the subscribe button down below for more content. You want to hit that notification bell that way you're alerted every time a video drops. Click like, subscribe, yeah, do your guys' thing. I will see you guys next time. Cheers, everybody. See you guys.